Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel CS Pictorial. This video is about the simplification of Boolean expressions using Boolean laws. This video covers 15 examples of Boolean simplification of which many are solved examples from previous net and gate question papers. Please watch this video until the end. This is surely going to be helpful to easily understand the Boolean simplification. The main aim of simplifying Boolean expressions is to obtain a final logical expression that has the minimum number of terms and thereby requires minimum number of logic gates to implement the expression. There are two popular methods for simplification of Boolean expression. One is the algebraic manipulation where Boolean terms are simplified using some basic Boolean algebra laws. The second method is using Karnoff maps to simplify Boolean expressions. These are the laws of Boolean algebra that we will be using throughout this video to solve the Boolean expression. A detailed video explaining these laws is available in our channel. Kindly check the link given in the description. Let us first understand the simplification of a basic expression a into a plus b. First, applying the distributive law, multiply the term a with all the other terms inside the bracket. So it becomes a dot a plus a dot b. Then according to idempotent law, a variable anded with itself is equal to that variable. So a dot a becomes just a. Factoring out the common term a from a plus a dot b gives us a into 1 plus b. Now according to annulment law, any term odd with 1 equals 1. So 1 plus b becomes 1. Similarly, identity law makes a dot 1 as a. So a into a plus b is simplified into just a. A. The expression a plus a dot b can also be simply replaced as a according to absorption law. Simplify the expression a plus b into a plus c. First applying the distributive law multiply each term with every other term. It then becomes a dot a plus a dot c plus a dot b plus b dot c. Then according to idempotent law a variable anded with itself is equal to that variable. So, a dot a becomes just a. Applying the absorption law to a plus a dot c makes it a by absorbing the like terms. Again, the absorption law to a plus a dot b makes it a by absorbing the like terms. Finally, the simplified expression is a plus b c. Simplify the expression a into a plus b bar c plus a into b bar plus c. First, applying the distributive law, multiply the term a with the terms inside the bracket. The expression then becomes a dot a plus a b bar c plus a b bar plus a c. Then, according to idempotent law, a variable anded with itself is equal to that variable. So, a dot a becomes just a. Factoring out the common term a b bar from a b bar c plus a b bar gives us a b bar into c plus 1. Then the annulment law makes c plus 1 equal 1. Again factoring out the common term a from a plus a b bar gives a into 1 plus b bar. The annulment law again makes 1 plus b bar equal 1. The absorption law is used to absorb the like term which makes a plus ac equal a. The expression a plus ab bar could have also been simplified as a using the absorption law. Therefore, the given expression is simplified to its minimum term as a. Simplify the expression a bar plus b bar into a plus c bar plus b bar into b plus c. As usual, first apply distributive law to multiply each term with every other term within the brackets. Continue applying distributive law until all the brackets get removed. Now, according to complement law, a variable anded with its complement equals 0. In the next step, the zeros could be omitted because variables odd with 0 result in the variable itself. Factoring out the common term b bar from b bar c bar plus b bar c gives us b bar into c bar plus c. Again, the complement law for all operations states that a variable odd with its complement equals 1. The 1 could also be omitted because the term b bar anded with 1 gives the same term b bar. 
Now, factoring out the common term b bar gives b bar into a plus 1. The annulment law gives a plus 1 equal to 1 and b bar into 1 equal to b bar. Therefore, the simplified expression is a bar c bar plus b bar. Simplify x plus x bar y plus y bar plus x plus y bar into x bar y. The terms used in a Boolean expression could be any variable. It could also be x, y, z, etc. as used in this expression. The simplification steps are almost similar to the previous examples. We use the appropriate Boolean laws at each step and reduce the number of terms in the expression. How many gates would be required to implement this boolean expression after simplification? xy plus x into x plus z plus y into x plus z. The simplification of this expression is again almost similar to the previous examples. We use the appropriate boolean laws at each step. Now the boolean expression xy plus x into x plus z plus y into x plus z after simplification becomes x plus yz. As mentioned in the question, we need to determine the number of gates required to implement this simplified expression. First, for yz, we apply an AND gate with inputs y and z. The output yz is then odd with the input x. Thereby, only two gates are required to implement this Boolean expression. Simplify the Boolean expression x plus y into x plus y bar plus x y bar plus x bar the whole bar. This is a question from previous gate exam. These are the options provided. First, the complement terms are simplified using De Morgan's law a plus b bar equals a bar into b bar. Now, x y bar plus x bar the whole bar becomes x y bar the whole bar into x double bar. Again, applying De Morgan's second law a dot b bar equals a bar plus b bar to x y bar the whole bar makes the expression x bar plus y double bar. Now, according to double negation law, double complement of a variable is equal to the variable itself. So, y double bar becomes y and x double bar becomes x. Applying the distributive law, multiply each term with every other term within brackets. Then, the complement law makes y y bar equals 0 and x x bar equals 0. The zeros may be omitted in OR operation. In the next step, the idempotent law makes x x equal x and x y plus x y equal x y. By applying absorption law, x plus x y bar takes only the common term x. Again, applying absorption law to x plus x y takes only the common term x. So, the final simplified expression is just x. Thereby, the answer for this question is option A that is x. The next question is from NTA net previous paper. The boolean AB plus AB bar plus A bar C plus AC is unaffected by the value of the boolean variable and the options are given. The complement of a variable can also be represented this way as AB bar. This is simple question a bit twisted. We need to simplify this expression as usual. The variable that is not present in the simplified expression is the answer for this question. The simplification is very simple. It is done in just three simple steps. Now, since the variable b is not present in the simplified expression, the given Boolean expression is unaffected by the variable b. Thereby, the answer is the option b. This is another question from NTA net previous paper. 
find the boolean expression for the logic circuit given first let us find the boolean expression for the logic circuit then we would simplify the expression the nand gate with inputs a and b gives the output a dot b bar the nor gate with inputs a bar and b gives the output a bar plus b the whole bar the nor gate output with these two inputs gives the output a dot b bar plus a bar plus b the whole bar the whole bar first the complement terms are simplified using de morgan's law a dot b bar equals a bar plus b bar again applying de morgan's law a plus b bar equals a bar dot b bar to a bar plus b the whole bar makes the expression a double bar dot b bar do not forget to include the whole bar we have not yet reduced it applying the appropriate laws at each step the expression is reduced to a bar plus b bar the whole bar now the de morgan's law a plus b bar equals a bar dot b bar gives us the expression a double bar dot b double bar with the double negation law the expression is finally simplified to a dot b therefore the answer is option a that is ab this is a question from previous nta net paper refer a table of boolean laws to find the correct match of laws the answer is option c a question from previous gate question paper the logical expression a plus a bar b is equivalent to dash the simplification is very simple it's done in just three simple steps and the answer is option d y equals a plus b simplify a plus b into a plus b bar into a bar plus c the simplification steps are almost similar to the previous examples we use the appropriate boolean laws at each step and reduce the number of terms in the expression Finally the simplified expression is ac The simplified form of a boolean equation ab bar plus ab bar c plus ac into a bar c bar plus b bar is dash First applying absorption law to ab bar plus ab bar c the common term is taken ab bar to the next step Applying distributive law each term is multiplied with every other term within the brackets applying complement law a term added with its complement is always zero when a a bar is zero the whole term a a bar b bar c bar becomes zero similarly when a a bar is zero the whole term a a bar c c bar becomes zero so those terms are omitted in the next step now applying idempotent law b bar b bar becomes a single b bar factoring out the common term a b bar makes a b bar into 1 plus c here absorption law could also be directly applied to make a b bar plus a b bar c equal a b bar so the final simplified expression is a b bar therefore the answer is option a that is a b bar use boolean algebra to simplify the following logic circuit this has to be done in three steps first step is to write the boolean expression for this circuit second step is to simplify the expression and the third step is to draw the simplified logic circuit let's check out one by one the and gate output with inputs a and b is a dot b the output a dot b is then odd with c so the output of the or gate is ab plus c ab plus c is then given as input to and gate along with a so the final output of the circuit is ab plus c into a the simplification of this expression is very simple it's done in just three simple steps now the expression becomes a into b plus c 
the inputs b and c are first odd and b plus c is ended with a finally the number of logic gates is reduced from 3 to 2 this is an interesting question from gate previous paper what is the boolean expression for the output f of the combinational logic circuit of nor gates given below As we had done in previous examples, first write the Boolean expression for the circuit. The expression is P plus Q bar plus Q plus R bar the whole bar plus P plus R bar plus Q plus R bar the whole bar the whole bar. Applying De Morgan's law, A plus B bar equals A bar dot B bar. P plus Q bar plus Q plus R bar the whole bar becomes P plus Q double bar into Q plus R double bar. P plus R bar plus Q plus R bar the whole bar becomes P plus R double bar into Q plus R double bar. Now applying double negation law remove the double complement. Do not forget to include the whole bar it is not yet simplified. Applying distributive law multiply each term with every other term within brackets. The brackets can simply be removed since it is OR operation only. Now, merge similar terms and replace each recurring term appear only once. Similarly, continue for AND of variables. Do not forget to include the whole bar, it is not yet simplified. With absorption law, Q plus QR becomes Q. Again, by absorption law, PQ plus Q becomes Q and PR plus R becomes R. Finally, the simplified expression is Q plus R bar. Therefore, the answer is option A, Q plus R bar. Practice these simplification problems. Please comment your answers. Okay then it's done for today. Hope this video would have been useful. Encourage us by giving a like to this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Hit the bell icon for sure. Thank you for watching.